In this video I'll show my 5 favorite transitions. On the 5th place comes a drag spin. Drag one skate behind to trigger a 180 degree spin. I use this one a lot on inline skates, but not that much on ice. Though for beginners it's a good first transition to learn. A jump is not that efficient, but sometimes there's a stick or whatever that you have to jump over. This one is actually the 180 jump, except you don't fully jump. When you turn clockwise, the front of the right blade scratches ice, and when you turn counterclockwise, it's the left blade that never leaves the ice. Since you don't fully jump, it's both faster and more efficient. I use this one a lot both on ice and with rollerblades. Begin a hockey stop and let it continue into a transition. It's maybe not the best choice when continuing in the same direction as here, but it's very useful when you want to return to where you came from. For hockey defense players, this one is essential. The Mohawk is the most efficient transition. It's not very difficult from a technical point of view, but it does require very flexible hips. If you can open your hips to a full 180, then you can do this while going in a straight line. And this is what happens if you're not flexible enough. Although I struggle with a mohawk transition going straight, I use it a lot while turning. Especially going from backward to forward while turning, I use it a lot. Here going in a circle while constantly facing the camera, I prefer a pivot transition going forward to backward, and a mohawk transition from backward to forward. All these transitions should be learned both ways. Because remember, the number one rule of hockey is never turn your back to the play. I made a playlist of transition tutorials. There are lots of details I left out, or well, don't do perfectly. So I hope you found my video a good starting point, and that the playlist is a natural next step. If you don't see the playlist on screen, click the link in the description. I plan to make a similar video for inline skating transitions. It will be up in a few months when the snow has melted and I'm back on wheels. Until then, stay tuned for updates and thank you for watching.